Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Karina. I'm Nathan. And I'm Julia. Hey. 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 Hello. What? What's up? Hit me with your pet shark. Whoa, that's so random. Thanks. I, I, I got that from using a random sentence generator. Whoa, there it is. Whoa, she's showing it to us right now. She's, it's true. <laughs> I wouldn't simply say that. It would be strange if I did. But because it came out of a generator, instead of being strange, it's funny and inspiring. <laughs> which makes it a really good suggestion that we got... <laughs> From the Discord. Uh -huh. It makes it that. It makes are it we that. still doing random sentences? <laughs> kind of we always are. Yeah. So true. This one came to us from Ghost Bird, who is a Patreon Ghost supporter. Bird. Ghost Bird. <laughs> Ghost Bird. And they said, hi, all. Hi, Ghost Bird. Hi. 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 I was rewatching the random Photoshop tool challenge where they ended the drawings with random generated sentences that were all a little eerie. I was thinking it might be fun if they use the sentence generator as a starting point for drawings. And we're going to do that. <laughs> that would be fun. Because I thought it'd be fun too when I read it. I said, I think that would be fun also. When I you, also thought that. When, when you read it just now, I thought it <laughs> I, as well. Julia, did you, think, did you think that? I don't think. That's fair. Perfect. <laughs> then we're all in the right headspace to do this challenge. Let's yeah. go. I will be choosing the sentences. I have already chosen the sentences. That was oh. fast. Yes. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Effective. <laughs> what can I say? I'm very hardworking and smart. <laughs> uh, Nathan. <laughs> do you have a sentence for me? I sure do. For me? Your sentence is, I used to live in my neighbor's fish pond, but the aesthetic wasn't to my taste. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> It really does make sentences that are like kind of scary. Yeah. In a way. Like, foreboding. Yeah. But often silly. But silly in like a, in like kind of a scary way. Scary silly. <laughs> I'm getting the scary sillies. <laughs> it's a neighbor's fish pond. With just absolutely dog shit aesthetics. Yeah, the aesthetic. Well, it just it wasn't Shit. to the, it wasn't to their taste. Oh, maybe yeah. they like the bad visuals. Aesthetics. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> the concept. I don't get it. <laughs> the vibe. Shambles. <laughs> I'm leaving this fish pond. Yeah. If you want me to stay in your fish pond, you better get this shit in order. <laughs> says the writer of this sentence. <laughs> Who is not a person. <laughs> Who is not a person. Or maybe is. I don't know. Um, if you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't write sentences about me. <laughs> <laughs> you could live in a fish pond. Especially your neighbors. Yeah. Because <laughs> then they have to clean it up. It's called trespassing. <laughs> <laughs> But if they're your neighbor, it implies that you do own a house <laughs> that's next to theirs. Or at least some sort of like living space. Yeah. And you're just choosing to live in their fish pond. Yeah. Well, did you become neighbors when you chose to live in their fish pond? Like, is it a sort of thing where it's like, well, that's my neighbor now because I'm living in their fish <laughs> well, pond. Now that's my neighbor. <laughs> well, I don't think they would phrase it like my neighbor's fish pond that implies they were neighbors that had a fish pond that you then lived yeah. in that's a good point not then that they became your neighbor when you lived yeah because then it pond. would be my uh, the I live neighbor this, at my fish pond yeah the neighbor of my fish pond <laughs> the they, neighbor, my fish pond's that neighbor they also own it's complicated. <laughs> My neighbor fish bond. <laughs> My favorite Ghibli movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My neighbor fish bond. <laughs> Maybe this person is a mermaid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> so they're they're leaving the like fish a pond. Koi maid. Yeah, they're leaving the fish <laughs> she's pond. She's koi and she's a little koi. Mm -hmm. And she's got her little rolly luggage oh i thought she was doing a nya <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's a a, a meow are... maid <gasps> they say it couldn't be done and i've done it and she's uh, done it i've done the impossible <laughs> the little meow maid <laughs> meow maid chan <laughs> look at this stuff isn't it neat 
<laughs> Isn't it yeet? Isn't it yeet? <laughs> Ariel throws whatever she's holding. <laughs> yeet. Neat's a hard word to say in the nya voice. Huh? Neat is a hard neat. word to say. Yeah, in, I don't think nya. you say it like neat, that. Neat. Neat. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. You can't nya it. Well, I well it, yeah, it's not N A, it's N E A. <laughs> yeah, I know, but normally you can kind of fudge it, fudge it, <laughs> <laughs> but not this time. But that's okay. We've all learned something. Yeah. Yes, this meow maid has certainly learned something. Is it a meow maid? Because I did the meow hand. I think no. it's whatever you want it yeah, to be. Yeah, it's whatever Nathan. you want it to be. Yeah, you don't have to do anything I mean, you don't it, want it to. It can be. You it. just have I to like, follow the prompt. <laughs> I like incorporating what you say into my drawing. This raises like a, a lot of questions. That's a bad rule to have, Nathan. Yeah. I say a lot of garbage. Yeah, but it's funny. It's funny. It's like a random sentence generator funny. talking to y'all. So this is a cat that likes the water. Yeah. Is this what happens if a cat goes in the water? Is this what happens? This is what happens. <laughs> they become oh, a meow Oh, that's Nathan's maid. name. <laughs> Nathan Nyaffy. <laughs> Nyaffy. Nyaffy. Well, some cats like water. Yeah, but if they stay in it too long. Then they become this. This is why they, they are pretty. warned not to stay in the water. Yeah. Because they'll turn oh. into this. And they'll get a little bralette. They get their little seashell bra. Yeah. <laughs> but they're no longer welcome in cat, cat society. <laughs> Do you think that the mermaid society yes. has fashion trends like the human society does? And what do you think that takes the form of if they do? They're little bralettes. But do the but like do the bralettes change? Well, yeah. Does it go different... from like a bralette to like a holster top? Yeah, they cycle through the different, you Is know, a like holster top, a holster <laughs> top, holster <laughs> top. <laughs> they start packing. They're armed. <laughs> yeah, they keep like little little squids, and they yeah. can shoot ink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd or like is to it think like so. different shells, or mm -hmm. is that just like? the design sort of thing. So I think I read, like, it can a fashion go trend. either way. And like maybe there's like fashion designer mermaids who do like, you know, cut and sew. They mm -hmm. make like really special ones. But most most of them will just use kind of like shells or whatever else is in the and, like, garbage. A, yeah, plastic, <laughs> a lot of plastic. There's yeah. lots of stuff in the ocean. That yeah, there's could... a lot of plastic they can use to make like uh, different fibers. <laughs> but think about like what you could do with like coral. You could make some cool coral clothes. Yeah. You could sew it all together with seaweed. Yeah. Yeah. You could. Or plastic. You could just strap a fish across your titties if you wanted. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe that's a trend for a while. <laughs> I feel like a stingray. You could wrap a stingray around yourself. Ooh, dangerous. Ooh, yeah. you feeling you feeling silly? <laughs> you feeling daring and silly? You want to put a stingray on your body? <laughs> well, the mermaids, the meow meow maids. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are mermaids in Maryland, Jacob. <laughs> meow maids. They're part fish, so the stingrays don't sting them. Ah. Oh. They have they reach a mutual understanding. Who that? That's one of the fish. That's a diglet. <laughs> no, that's a fish. If they're in the ocean, it's a fish, Jacob. That's what we call them in the real world. Well, it's, 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 just a pond, it's just it's a, a diglet. It's a pond. It's a really tall diglet. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm sorry you didn't like the aesthetic. I don't know what you want. And... Oh, so it just wasn't to your taste, huh? Yeah. I worked really hard on this place. <laughs> I thought it was avant-garde, but I guess you're just not ready for that yet. Yeah. Maybe you're a little basic. Oh my god! I can't I'm sorry. That. It's not a cottage or whatever. <laughs> sorry, it's not cottage core. <laughs> sorry, it's not cottage core enough for you. <laughs> Maybe they have like a live, laugh, love sign up or something, and that's what too. she didn't like. It's, it's live, <laughs> it's live, laugh, blub. Because <laughs> they're underwater. It's like it doesn't even say nya. <laughs> like yeah, where would we put nya in it? 
Yeah. Also, I completely forgot that Wiglet existed. Wiglet does Fuck exist. Wiglet, Wiglet does I'm, exist. Julie, we have to remind you what the Wiglet beach. is every time we talk <laughs> about one, Wiglet. He's the one that goes, I'm Wiglet. <laughs> I protect the beach. Is that the one that looks like one of those fish that stand up straight? It looks like a diglet. It, it, yeah, it looks like a, 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 a pale diglet. Yeah, wiggly, in fact. You look it up every time. We, we've talked about this so many times, Julia. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Wig. That you can't maintain, Wig. you can't hold wiglet in your mind. Oh, uh, wiglet. It protects the beach. Wiglet does look like one of those fish, though. I don't know what I you're mean, talking probably, about. I mean, probably. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is this the neighbor? Yeah. Is Everyone the... is so over this cat bitch. Yeah, it's like, fine, go. <laughs> I didn't even like you. <laughs> I'm glad you're leaving. This is literally my yard. <laughs> you have your own yard. You don't pay for any of this. All you do is make <laughs> demands about the aesthetic. And you keep calling it rancid. <laughs> it's a pond. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want. Draw a better hand than that. Getting this hand ready to do a smack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get on out of here. Say bye. Bye. Okay, go then. Bye. Get out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's fine. Go ahead. Thanks. Thanks for the memories. The I like the cat girl. Moy maid. Uh, you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> here being drawing this picture? Yeah, you as in Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wondering that. It's the same every week. I mean, I know how you got here. <laughs> you took the subway. And you're drawing the picture because it's our job? It's our job. Yeah, I don't think anyone was wondering. Yeah, le legally, you're required to be here doing this. <laughs> legally. <laughs> <laughs> you will go to jail. <laughs> Whenever someone asks what I do for a living, I say I'm an artist. And then they're like, oh, so what do you do as an artist? And I shit you not, I say this seriously. Legally, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I found it. It's a garden eel. Oh. The fish that stands up. The fish that stands up. That's an eel. That's an eel. It's not even a fish. It's fish less that it like stands e up and more that it's an eel in the ground and it, it kind of just emerges like a snake, but like yeah, I wiglet. guess that is what Wiglet does. It you are be. correct, Julia. Is yeah. an eel closer to a worm or a fish? I wish I were closer to a worm. <laughs> In... <laughs> Have you tried talking to any worms? What was the question again? <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about worms. I was thinking about being close to worms. Yeah, just in the vicinity of a worm. <laughs> You probably are. I mean, not right now because we're like on a higher floor of a building. Are y'all worms? But if you go down to street level, you're probably pretty close to some worms at all times. Oh, shit. Worms. They're always beneath you. Nathan, this is nice. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah yes. I like it. It's like a cute little scene. Yeah. I couldn't figure out how to do like moving box. Maybe they're just like some boxes. She's like, I'll send some people to pick up my. <laughs> they're just trash. <laughs> she's littered. <laughs> Got some like. Well, maybe she's like the movers have already taken most of her boxes. She's the last one out to make sure that all of her boxes are gone. Yeah. And she didn't really care about these last. These ones. are a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're just empty box. They're just wet cardboard. <laughs> she's just like you two can get those, right? Yeah, and the fish are like we're literally they're dying because there's so much no. trash in this pond. <laughs> like we physically and literally cannot bring those boxes to a different <laughs> pond. We will die. Yeah. Also, like, yeah, okay, just go ahead and bring them then. Thank you. I don't know how you're <laughs> planning on getting to a different pond. You don't have legs, so are you just gonna crawl? All right, that's nice. Bye. <laughs> yeah. She crawls five feet and dies. <laughs> right, yeah. What, what's the exact phrasing of the the sentence again? Um, The sentence. Uh, that's a wonderful question. I used to live in my neighbor's fish pond, but the aesthetic wasn't to my taste. Yeah, that could be... I used to live in my yeah, and, I had a now couch. and now I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my couch to 
the pond. <laughs> I want it to rot there. I would love Out a ghost. Spite. I would love a ghost saying, "Yeah, I used to live, but I kind of got over that. It's a little, you know." Yeah, it wasn't year. really to my liking, so I decided to die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, she no longer lives there. <laughs> she, she no, no longer, longer lives, lives anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> she no longer lives. Period. Except there. in hell, maybe. <laughs> See you there, sweaty. <laughs> and I burst into flames. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan, I think it's good. Yeah. Okay. Good job, it's Nathan. Cute. You did great. I like it. I would do a good draw now, me. You would do a good draw. Okay. Wow. Okay, can you calm down, please? Sorry, I got excited. Do you, are you ready? Do you want sentence? Yes. All right. Your sentence is, this made him feel like an old style root beer float smells. What the <laughs> hell? Okay. This made him feel uh, like uh -huh. an old style root beer float smells. Oh, I so feel the he scent felt is so good. Like the scent yeah, 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 of yeah. an old style root okay. beer float. This okay. feels like a sentence I would say. Yeah. Like I put on an, an outfit and I was like, you know what this is giving me essence of? You ever <laughs> smell a root beer float? Nathan has been sitting completely still <laughs> since I said the sentence. So I guess what we have to... Uh, an old style root beer yeah float. not yeah. a new style yeah, yeah, yeah. not that new shit yeah what we that have to old, think old. of first <laughs> let's let's tackle this in parts yeah okay part one what's yeah. an old style root beer float i think that's gonna be like i think like pants up to the nipples <laughs> on the float <laughs> Well, I was thinking, <laughs> where, are the, the nipples? where are the nipples on the root beer float? What are you talking about? <laughs> got, the nipples got, the kind of, got kind of an old style, this root no, beer float. Well, like, <laughs> if I'm translating it into, you got to like, okay, you know, Julia knows best what this sentence means. Oh, it's Julia like hard feels to explain it. because it makes so much sense to me. <laughs> You know the. You're like, why would you even need an explanation? <laughs> you know the What's the the clicking? Trigon Cafe. Trigon. The what? Trigon Cafe with the Vash glasses. Oh, the penis drink. Yeah, the penis drink. <laughs> we'll flash it on screen. It's not a penis. It's not yeah. a penis. It's glasses. It's his, it's his glasses. Text and his coat. that says not a penis. Thank you. So it's like it, you gotta like reverse engineer it from there, right? <laughs> so pants good. up to the nipples. <laughs> Right. On the drink. On the drink. Suspenders could be the straw. Right? Suspenders could be the straw. <laughs> they could be, couldn't they? Suspenders. <laughs> Jacob, is any of this working for you? Nathan's just rubbing his face. <laughs> Suspenders could be the straw. <laughs> the sentence makes so much sense to me. And it should make sense to Jacob because Jacob's figured out how to translate me. By this now. is a good pose. Yeah, this yeah, is this just is like great. a cool lounging. Thank you. Is this pose. what an old style root beer float smells like? Oh, I'm gonna take a pause on what Julia is saying for a second. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we, we can we can get back to it as I'm like moving further in here. Uh huh. I was thinking, in my mind. Mm -hmm. Um. There's your first mistake. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> I was thinking in my mind, an old style root beer float sounds like something you have at like a, one of those old diners. Yeah. Like a 1950s diner. You're there with your best gal. <laughs> you're going you're, steady. You're going steady with your best <laughs> gal. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and the that's, prom's tomorrow. And the prom is tomorrow. <laughs> and it's like the best, you know, the best time of your life. Yeah. Or whatever. Or whatever. And like that's where you get a 19... Not a 1950s root beer float. It's where you get an old style root beer float. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh -huh. And so the smell that that evokes is the smell of being in the 50s. Oh, no. And, and, and it being the night before prom with your best gal you're going steady with. What if and I don't so, want to be in the 50s? Well, well, I should say you're in the 50s. You're a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a white guy in the 50s. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, take me there. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have a great time. <laughs> and you're going steady with your best gal. And she's got like a poodle on her skirt. Yeah, yeah. she's got a poodle on her skirt. 
and um and money is cheap money's cheap <laughs> and and looking good's cheaper and so if you feel like that smell then you're feeling like uh, like a hot young 1950s greaser boy oh you're a fonzie doing a sexy pose that's how you're you're feeling yourself okay. in like a really like specific way hell yeah dude so before jacob and i started dating um i brought jacob to a place that does old-fashioned root beer floats and old-fashioned milkshakes yeah we weren't even going steady at the time so no. it was very very forward of you yeah i know ain't that wild but it is it was made way back when and it's still in the same style they haven't changed it much and it does give this vibe yes Okay, so I just Google image search root beer float, uh -huh. and then I Google image search old style root beer float. Uh huh. They're the same thing. They're the same photos. <laughs> what is the difference? Well, so this guy doesn't know that. <laughs> he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He's a white guy in the fifties. <laughs> well, he's not really. If I tried to explain the difference to him, he would say, "What is Google?" and then call me a slur, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it's okay because that's allowed yeah <laughs> he's really feeling himself okay <laughs> to let him say a slur <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin this for him i'm sorry but yes yeah, my question really <laughs> my rude, rude of you to bring up the fact that <laughs> it wasn't a slur yet i'm sorry it was normal everyone said it <laughs> my son's first words were what would now be considered a slur <laughs> anyway what's an old what makes it old style legitimate question tone indicator serious <laughs> slash <laughs> slash yeah, yes tone indicator inquisitive <laughs> ow <laughs> I just hit my hand on the chair. I was so inquisitive. You're getting too inquisitive. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta calm down with the inquisitiveness. I want to look it up before someone yells at me in the comments because I the think main, I know. The but... main difference I noticed was a cherry. <laughs> more of the old style ones have a little cherry on a top of a dollop of cream. Little maraschino cherry. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what it is. It's the cherry. The cherry on Makes top. Makes all the difference. I haven't had a root beer float in forever. It's got me feeling some kind of way. Root they're, beer floats are delicious. Good. Yeah, I just haven't had one in so long. We should have some. We should have some. Okay. I'll Thank take you. a million pills so that <laughs> the milk content does not harm my tummy. Extreme the ice cream. death. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just it's just the glass you put it in and then like a cherry, maybe a little swirly swirl on top of either ice cream or whipped cream. That's the main difference I'm seeing from all of these recipe websites. Yeah, I think it probably hasn't changed that yeah, much. I like think I think that's why it's pretty, it's pretty easy one to do to it. One. You can just call it an old style root beer float when you make it because it's it's basically the same. Is the difference is that a soda jerk makes it? Yeah. Someone out there is, knows the difference. <laughs> hey, I'm, your head. I'm trying to warn you. Because I am aggressively scrolling through the image results, and I did find a photo of a soda jerk, and this is absolutely a guy who would <laughs> microaggression me. Yeah. Well, it's like... It's the reason they call him a jerk. <laughs> well, it's like soda used to be made through, like in parlors like this it, this is what i was googling so no one come at me in the comments no one no one please it's like there's there's a, a carbonated water tap and then like your the syrup the syrup and so there's like a root beer syrup and then you would have to like make the soda yourself and put the ice cream and yeah. stuff like that root beer up <laughs> root beer up <laughs> wow this is making me feel like an old timey root beer float smells old that's that's what i'm trying to evoke here maybe he's like he is looks he... like he's at the movies or something yeah i was about to say old this style, this isn't this timey. isn't in the diner right like he's not in a booth. no he's not in the diner yeah he sitting just, like that he feels like <laughs> gonna have to pepper spray him sit up straight dude <laughs> i haven't fully discerned like how this chair would have to work in order for him to be able to sit this way in it but that doesn't matter because it's about the feeling. It's about yeah. the feeling. 
You know, he's slouching, obviously. Obviously. He's doing a big, he's kind of like he's leaning up to do a fart. <laughs> <laughs> He's twisting doing, his hips. He's doing a little out. ab ab workout. Yeah. For fart. I for fart. Like he needs he needs a hand. And like his it. fart smells just like an old style <laughs> root beer float. I looked at that's up. all he <laughs> has eaten. System. Amazing. It's liquefied his intestines. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read this fact from the history of root beer floats that I found in Wiki. <laughs> okay. There are at least three other claimants for the invention of the root beer float. Fred Sanders, Philip Moore, and Georgia Guy. What? Georgia, Georgia Guy? Georgia jo- George Guy. George, George guy. guy. Okay, I was like, Georgia Guy? Jacob? Georgia Guy. Did I do it? <laughs> Am I Georgia Guy? Nah, you're a little George, Georgia boy. Yeah, Georgia boy don't invent yeah, nothing. You're not, you're not a guy. Also, apparently in Australia and New Zealand, it's called a spider. Which seems very confusing because I think they have a lot of actual spiders. Yeah, yeah. From from my understanding, they're my understanding, spidered up over there. Australia is mostly spiders, snakes, and gators, and spiders. Oh my! Oh my! This is a great drawing. But what a wonderful torso! They don't call they, them yeah. spiders. They it, call spiders. Sp- root beer floats. Spiders are root beer. <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't let that root beer float get you. Oh, that's Mate. a poisonous root beer float. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no root beer floats around here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a black widow root beer float. <laughs> a what? Okay, well, I think I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> this is the drawing of that feeling when you when feel beer like an old style root beer float smells. smells. When you feel like a spider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> Who's drawing Julia? It Julia. Me. Okay, go go on ahead. Go on. Go on. Hit me. All right. Mm-hmm. Your sentence, Julia, okay. is the murder hornet was disappointed by the preconceived ideas people had of him. Okay. Oh, so All right. the, <laughs> the name murder hornet does evoke yes. a lot of preconceived yes. notions about like what it does. Yeah. Is murder hornet related to murder clown? <laughs> Just because they have the same first <laughs> Just name. Just because they have the same first name. <laughs> Maybe it's in the Japanese style. Yeah, or maybe it's a title. And so the family name comes first. Ah. Murder Hornet, Murder Clown. <laughs> murder Crows. Cr- murder Crows of. Murder Crows. Com- com- of. Of. <laughs> <laughs> it's a complex naming convention. Yeah, Murder Hornets, they do murder, though. What's yeah. their preferred method? As far as my understanding of them, that's kind of their thing. Murder. I'm just gonna just gonna do a quick Google search here. So you're telling me you're telling me <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 murder. They murder. murder. They murder. It's not just like an accident. It's not manslaughter. Manslaughter. They're not manslaughter. Manslaughter hornets. <laughs> no, it's premeditated. <laughs> yeah, that that was their intent. <laughs> you look at they they look you in the eye and they go, I'm "Gonna kill that one." <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Maybe this one's a manslaughter hornet, yeah. <laughs> but is haunted by the family name. It's like, have I killed people? Yes. Was it on purpose? <laughs> Mostly no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, according to this, a, a single wasp cannot inject a lethal dose of venom into a person, <laughs> but multiple stings can be lethal even to people who are not allergic. So, oh. so it, it seems like they really like they get together. <laughs> so it's like a repeated assault. Yeah, they get, they get the whole gang together and be like, we all got to sting them. <laughs> and that does imply that it was predetermined. Not predetermined. predetermined. <laughs> you, were, you were destined to tie there <laughs> to those hornets. <laughs> We're really good at talking about crime. <laughs> <laughs> it was a predetermined manslaughter predetermined. accident. 
<laughs> I've chosen to represent myself today. Uh, I believe you will find that this manslaughter was not predetermined. The fates did not <laughs> predict it ahead of time. We consulted a tarot reader and the cards did not show the murder. Nor was it fatal. I mean... Um, on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what uh, what did I say? <laughs> what, are we, uh, what are we doing? Are we in court? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got some good news, though. I found a section of the Wikipedia called Human Consumption. Uh huh. They, they, consume... they can consume humans? <laughs> no, it's the opposite, baby. <laughs> Cannibal. Wait, We're no. eating them. <laughs> In some Japanese mountain <laughs> villages, the nests are excavated and the larvae are considered a delicacy when fried. Ooh. In the central Chubu region, <laughs> these wasps are sometimes eaten as snacks or an ingredient in drinks. Oh, the nice. grubs are yeah. often preserved in jars, pan fried, or steamed with rice to make a savory dish called hebo gohan. And the adults are fried on skewers, stinger and all, until the body becomes crunchy. I gotta be real. Like, you fry most things and I'm down. Yeah, I'll chomp. I'll chomp down That's on a murder hornet. That's my most American quality. <laughs> can you put? Can you put murder hornets in old style root beer floats? <laughs> it says they go in drinks. They go in drinks. That is a drink, arguably. I, I I'd have to do a different drawing if the old style root beer float he was thinking about was the one that you get in the central Chubu region. <laughs> well, does it affect that is made with the wasp? <laughs> does the wasp affect the the smell? Or just the texture, because it just feels how it smells. Yeah, mm. that's a really good question. Can someone let us know if you know, but only if you know, know from experience. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear from you if you're guessing. Yeah, yeah. We're we're doing this plenty is, of guessing this already. Is not a hypothetical. <laughs> no. Is this the Green Hornet, Julia? What? <laughs> Is it? Is this the, the comic book character, the Green Hornet? No, this is a killer wasp. Oh, that's a different. Okay, his this character's name is Killer Wasp. Yeah. Okay, but you know Green Hornet, right? What? The the Seth Rogen movie. Yeah, the movie with the guys that are green with the car. Wait, no, that's Toy Story. <laughs> Yeah, Green what? Hornet's got the car. The movie with the guys who are green. <laughs> Wait, that's a Toy Story. Right. And yeah. then Julia said the movie with the car. <laughs> that's he, cars. He does have a car. Yeah, he has like a cool car. In the Green, green Hornet. Hornet's got a car. <laughs> green Hornet's got a car. No one's arguing that Green Hornet <laughs> doesn't green have a car. Hornet can drive. Good for him. But this is Murder Wasp. <laughs> Murder hornet or it was wasp, right? In the sentence, um, I just started saying no. hornet. Oh, it's no, murder it's, hornet. You're saying hornet because I said hornet. You said hornet. It would be strange if you just started saying hornet for no reason in particular. Well, it's it's like that. <laughs> it's like that limerick. Yes. It's like that limerick that doesn't rhyme. It's like there once was a man from Saint Bees who what? was stung in the arm by a wasp. When asked, "Does it hurt?" He replied, "No, it doesn't." I'm so glad it wasn't a hornet. That limerick. Oh. I've never heard of that in my entire life. I've never life. heard that one before. Is that a known thing? Did I... you make that up right now? No. That's really Are smart, you Nathan. Genius? You should publish <laughs> that. Should publish that. <laughs> Completely original. <laughs> limerick that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> That's the name of the book. <laughs> Completely original limerick that doesn't rhyme. And it's one page <laughs> in hardcover. Well, I could put each word on its own page. That'd get you a few pages. No. One page. <laughs> well, my publisher said one page. <laughs> I got one page. It's a thick hardcover, though. It's, so it's... huge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find like evidence of this limerick. <laughs> I think Nathan just came up with it on the spot. Limerick about wasp. Oh, I found it. From Nathan? It's on Wikipedia. It was on uh, <laughs> at, <laughs> at, at Nathan Yaffe on Twitter. Yeah, Nathan, you have a Wikipedia? <laughs> it's on Nathan's Wikipedia. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is apparently what he's best known for. Shit. I like this silly guy. <laughs> he's doing kind of a similar pose to 
Jacob's guy. He's not quite as relaxed, I guess. Not- yeah, is he in the same movie theater or diner that they're <laughs> <laughs> or just general establishment? Uh, no, no, he's we, in a park. He's in a park. Uh, oh, is he near my neighbor with the fish pond? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's on the other side of the yard. Everyone just keeps coming into this guy's yard <laughs> and insulting his pond. What's going on on his face? Damn, limericks are like often about penises. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot. That's why they call yeah. it limericks. What does the word limerick have to do with it? It rhymes with dick. Thin dick. (laughs) Sort of a slant rhyme. Yeah. Thin dick. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, he's just holding a bloody (laughs) knife. And and he's like, is he like giving an explanation of like, uh, (laughs) I can't talk today, man. What the hell am I saying? (laughs) He's giving an explanation of... What he? What he no. has? His, the issues he has with people's preconceived notions. Yeah. Yes. But clearly, he's like done it. <laughs> but he's like, this is the problem with people. They hear murder hornet, and they're always like, "Oh, you must murder." I carry around my bloody manslaughter knife, and they think, <laughs> "Oh, he's a murderer." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tripped and fell with my knife onto the person and they aren't alive anymore but that's not a murder it was an accident it's manslaughter it was predetermined <laughs> it was predetermined <laughs> i got my fortune read last week and they told me this would happen is it really murder if it was predetermined cuz then didn't the fates kill him thank you <laughs> whoa i never thought about it like that is this the neighbor? It's just like this day. This day I'm having. <laughs> First, the mermaid that lived in my backyard fish pond told me they didn't like the aesthetic and then tried to move, but then died. <laughs> <laughs> and now you. And now you. <laughs> he looks so. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Then I went to the movies and there was a guy there who smelled like root beer floats. And now I'm just trying to take my son for a walk in the park. And there's a murder hornet here explaining something to me. What a day. I love this little tiny little guy. Oh, he's getting. He's like, don't. He's getting. He's like, don't look, don't look at him. Yeah. <laughs> don't make eye contact, son. <laughs> something not right about that guy. He looks kind of like the Green Hornet, but he's not. <laughs> the guy with the car? Yeah, the one with the car. From the, the car? From the Toy Story? With all the green guys. <laughs> I love this. This is a very good explaining pose <laughs> that you put in there. Uh, right. yeah, he's explaining, just, complaining. He's on like hour three of a rant that he's been doing to, to no one, and people just are walking by, like getting little snippets of it. Yeah. Go off, King. <laughs> should be like, it's like a path here. That should be like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we can all agree it should be like that. Yeah. Trash can. Gotta have the trash can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the Prospect Park. I recognize this bench. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the trash can by the path. Uh-huh. No, this is that guy's yard. <laughs> He's going for a walk in the yard. <laughs> He's like, stupid mermaid. Could have just put things in the public trash can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who are these people who keep showing up in my yard? I was wondering why the price of this house was so good. The yard. I didn't realize everybody thought this yard was a park. They just show up. <laughs> Tell me their life story. <laughs> Insult my aesthetic Ins- and then leave. <laughs> and then die. And then die. <laughs> And I'll, then... I'll tell you what, I'm certainly not feeling like an old style root beer float smells today. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling more like a new style root beer float looks. <laughs> Cold and wet. <laughs> Google searching and it's not helping. <laughs> You'll find nothing to help you now. We're in the weeds. Uh, I think this is it. 
I love it. This is great. It's such a good scene. <laughs> People are so judgmental these days. <laughs> They've got all these preconceptions. You don't know the whole story. You didn't ask any questions. You just saw me sitting here holding a bloody knife covered oh. in blood <laughs> and assumed... <laughs> bloody knife covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not my blood, and so you make assumptions. I mean, I'm covered in my blood, too. <laughs> but don't worry about that. That's old. <laughs> that's from that's from a different time. <laughs> nice work, Julia. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Good work, guys. Oh wow. boy. Nice strange work. sentences. Some good sentences. I love sentences. I wish we said more like Hey, we have a Patreon. That's a sentence. Whoa, did it just randomly generate that sentence? I know. How convenient, because we do. You should check it out. <laughs> if you give us money, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You make us feel like an old-time root beer float uh, smells, smells every time you give us money. Mm -hmm. Correct. True yeah. and correct. Mm -hmm. But otherwise... It's predetermined that you should subscribe. Yeah, Please. you're, you're going to do it. It's predetermined. Yeah, you're going to have to do it eventually. So why keep beating around the bush? Do it now. Yeah. Thanks. We also have smirch. Yeah, smirch. <laughs> we got like clothes and stuff. If you got someone else's manslaughter blood on your clothes, you need to change. Yeah, we got, and we got Twitch. We got Twitch. Yeah, yeah, you can come hang out in our neighbor's fish yeah. pond, and, which we and, call and Twitch. And insult our aesthetic. Yes, yeah, that we create live. Please do Monday nights. Mm -hmm. We're sorry. 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 sorry.